Welcome to a lesson on interpreting a graph. We'll be answering a series of questions based upon this graph here. We're first asked to identify the input variable as well as the units of the input variable. We always find the inputs along the horizontal axis, which tells us that the input variable is time and the units of the input variable are seconds. So we have time here and the units are seconds. Next, we're asked to identify the output variable as well as the units of the output variable. We always find the outputs along the vertical axis. So the output variable is the height of the rocket and the units are feet. So the output variable is height of the rocket and the units are in feet. For part A, after 3.5 seconds, the rocket is how many feet above the ground? To answer this question, we want to find the point on the graph when the input is equal to 3.5. So we'll locate 3.5 on the horizontal axis, which would be here, and we'll go straight to the graph. We're concerned about this point here. Notice when the input is 3.5, we can tell from the graph that the output is 100. So the ordered pair for this point is 3.5 comma 100, which tells us after 3.5 seconds, the rocket is 100 feet above the ground. Notice how this is actually a special point. This is the maximum height of the rocket. There's no other point on the graph that is higher than this point here. For part B, the rocket is 50 feet above the ground after how many seconds? So because the height or the feet above ground is the output, we answer this question by finding 50 on the vertical axis, which would be here. We want to find the pointer points on the graph where the output would be 50. And actually occurs twice. Once here, when the input is one, as well as over here on the right, when the input is six. So there are two points on the graph, this point here, and this point here, where we have an output of 50. The order pair for this point would be one comma 50. The order pair for this point would be six comma 50. Which means the rocket is 50 feet above the ground after one second here and after six seconds here. So once on the way up and once on the way down. So we'll say after one and six seconds. Part C, interpret the meaning of the ordered pair five comma 82. Let's first find this point on the graph. Here's the input of five. We go straight to the graph. We'd be at this point here. This point has coordinates five comma 82, or has the ordered pair five comma 82, which means after five seconds, the rocket is 82 feet above the ground, or is at a height of 82 feet. So as a sentence, we'll say after five seconds, the rocket is at a height of 82 feet. For part D, we're asked to identify the vertical intercept. The vertical intercept is where the graph crosses or intersects the vertical axis. So looking at the graph, notice how the graph crosses or intersects the vertical axis here, which is actually at the origin. So the ordered pair of the vertical intercept would be zero comma zero. Going back to part D, we're asked to write it as an ordered pair and also interpret its meaning in a complete sentence. So again, the ordered pair is zero comma zero, which means at time zero seconds, the rocket is at a height of zero feet or zero feet above the ground. Well, a time zero is a starting time, so this point tells us the rocket starts on the ground or at a height of zero feet. So we'll go ahead and say the meaning of this ordered pair is the rocket starts on the ground. It would also be okay to say more specifically, at time zero, the rocket is at a height of zero or zero feet above the ground. Part E, we're asked to identify the horizontal intercepts. These are the points where the graph crosses or intersects the horizontal axis. So looking at the graph, notice how, because the vertical intercept was at the origin, the origin is the only point that's on both axes. This point of the origin is also a horizontal intercept, but there's also another over here at the point seven comma zero. So we have two horizontal intercepts 
given by the ordered pairs 0 comma 0 and 7 comma 0. Notice these are the two points where the output or the second value of the ordered pair would always be zero, which means in this case, these are the times when the height of the rocket is equal to zero feet, where the rocket is zero feet above the ground, which means the rocket is on the ground. So we can say the meaning of these two points is that, is that the rocket is on the ground, or we could say at a height of zero feet, at zero seconds and seven seconds. In this case, it also tells us the rocket is in the air for seven seconds. And then finally for part F, we're asked to use a highlighter to show where the graph is increasing and explain what this means in terms of the rocket. So a graph is increasing when, as the inputs increase, the outputs also increase, or if we read the graph from left to right, it's where the graph is going uphill. So notice how this graph is increasing over this interval here, which would be from the input values of t equals zero to t equals 3.5. And the meaning of this in terms of the rocket is that the height of the rocket is increasing from zero seconds to 3.5 seconds. I hope you found this helpful.